Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name's Christine, and this is the last video in the Inky Background series. And I just want to show you or give you some ideas of what you can do with all the projects we just finished making. So first off, we have these, I have these ones where we had put the um, texture paste over it and sort of just by doing that finished it off. So these, of course, you can use for cards or you can use them as postcards or note cards. But if you like them, you can also frame them. So here's one I did. And these frames I got from Ikea. These are the five by seven frames and then it has the four by six insert. So you can have a nice little frame. So there's one I framed. And here's another one. And I've been thinking, you frame a whole pile of them, you put them up on your wall and it'd make really nice um, little wall piece. Or you can even give them away as gifts. And I just want to show you the four by six frames. So it's four by six with, I think it's like a three by five. So if you have smaller pieces, I think it's fine with the little frame. Whereas I don't like this one as much where it's just going right to the edge. And then you also um, thinking about the difference between a black and white frame. So it's just something to think about when you're picking the frames to buy. So next I wanna show you, you can just make simple cards. So with these three cards, I just had the background from all the layers that we did during um, the series. And then here I just put on three little clear butterflies. These are from Tim Holtz. And I attached them with just a little piece of, I sewed it on with a little bit of embroidery floss. And then here was just this little um, card I had. So I just put it in the corner. And then here I just added the butterfly and this is from a botanical set from Tim Holtz. So you can take the background as is and then just add a final little element to each of them. Oops. So next I want to talk about using them, um, especially the jelly prints and that, you can use just like you would patterned paper. So all these were die cut. I have this set here. It's sort of a mess now, but it was um, the February large die of the month from Spellbinders and it was all these abstract shapes. So I cut them out from the jelly papers and you can really see just all the different textures in there that if you just used a cardstock, it wouldn't be as interesting. And then here, the gold, that was from that one card where we, I had done it with gold through the stencil and I didn't like it, but I said, don't worry. You cut it up and now you have this really nice gold piece. So even those pieces or any projects that you don't like as a whole, once you die cut them, they look completely different because you're only using it in little pieces. So you can see by making your own uh, papers, when you cut them up, there's a lot more texture in them. The next I want to talk about collage. So I have these little samples here. And so again, I use the background is like the cards I was working on. And then all the little collage elements, most of them are from the jelly printed paper. Um, there's bits of that tissue. There's some tissue there. This is tissue. Uh, this was from a tag. People always ask like when you do tags what to do with tags. Well, you can rip them and I just liked how it was angled in that there. Or you could use the top of the tag as a piece. Or here I just wanted to show you it was a mini tag, but I put the whole tag on and then layered on top of it. I did a little bit of stitching and here even afterwards I thought something was missing so I just did some stamping um, even afterwards over top of everything to add a little bit more texture. I'd like to add in a bit of this little crochet ribbon I was able to get. And then layer it in with different ephemera, ephemera and elements and the different colors and that. And here's the doily. 
So you can have a lot of fun um, using all those projects to make collages. Now, because the collage, if you like it, I'm going to use this one. Since I went off the side, I can't put it in a frame. But I was able to find this little stand, an easel stand. And so you can always just put them on little easel stands then and display your final works of art. And then because it's like this, you can change it out whenever you have a new one. So it's a nice way to add a little color and decoration into your room. And then the last thing I want to show you is I made a little vignette box. And so I used the paper in the background of the box and then my to cut out my mushrooms. But I also want to show you all those techniques I showed you, you can do on other items. So here on the back, I have the crackle paste. I've used Liquitex inks. I've used distress crayons. I've splattered with the black. I have my die cuts on the side. And so I've used a lot of the techniques I've showed you to alter this box. So that will give you, you can use them not just on paper, but then on 3D items as well. So hopefully that gives you a lot of ways that you can use the techniques and all the papers you've made. And hopefully you've enjoyed the series. And if you want to at me at Scrap Time Photos on Instagram to show me what you made, or you can do hashtag inky backgrounds. And um, I can't wait to see what you make with all these techniques. Oh, and I also put the stickles in the background there too, like I showed you on the card. So I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time videos on YouTube. And for more inky backgrounds, be sure to check out the inky background playlist.